Question, why is media arts good for ministry? I'm Greg Murray. I have an answer to that question. But first, let's pray. Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to come together and share information that will help build your kingdom. We thank you, Father, for the blessed talents, skills, and knowledge that you've placed in each one of us here today. Everyone here has info to share with others that can help spread your word and in turn help to build your kingdom here on earth. Father, without your guidance, we cannot succeed. So we ask you now to ascend your angels and Holy Spirit to lead our thoughts and understanding to better use the talents that you've placed in each one of us. We pray that our hearts will be opened, our hearts will be softened, our minds will be opened and clear to the path of understanding and acceptance of the information that you're about to share with us. Father, we know that we are not scholars and we have been placed in positions to learn and share information that you would have us learn and share. I know that without your leadership, I cannot prosper. I am a follower of your word. I am a soldier in your holy army on a crusade to win over lost souls. I am not a know-it-all. I am here to help learn and also to share with everyone here. Father, with these things being spoken from my tongue and in agreements with one or more in this room, I ask for your approval, Lord, to move forward in the education of this session. In the name of our Savior and Lord, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Amen. And amen. God is truly amazing. He's allowed me to experience both media arts and ministry. For the last 30 years, I have experienced media art and applied it in both radio and television. As a matter of fact, for the last 20 years, I was production director and on-air talent at a CBS radio station in Chicago. And since 1998, I've applied those sciences in ministry. I found that those two together are powerful weapons. Let's find out how. We all know how media arts works well for big businesses. Businesses such as McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Ford, Microsoft, Apple, and so many others. We know that media arts works well for them because these businesses employ media arts to help build their multi-billion dollar businesses. By the end of this session, you'll understand why media arts is good for ministry. Again, the question, why is media arts good for ministry? In order to answer the question, we have to break down the question into two parts. One, what is media arts? And two, what is ministry? Media arts is two parts as one. There's media, then there's art. First, media. Media is plural for medium. Medium is a means of mass communication, such as newspapers, books, television, radio, internet, journalists, or others who constitute the communications industry and profession. Also, media is used in computer science. Media and computer science is used as the means of storing data. It can be disks, memory devices such as memory sticks, jump drives, and the like. That's used in computer science. So media and art together are simply artistic tools used by an artist to create artwork. Whether it's plant extract used in a dark cave or a digital photograph manipulated in a computer, media arts is simply an artistic tool used by an artist to create traditional artwork. Now that we know what media arts is, let's investigate what ministry is. Ministry is the department of a body of ministers, and a minister is a person who works as an agent to carry out orders and functions under another. I'm sure that as members of ministry, we don't need to explore what ministry is any deeper. But what we should think about is how we can employ media arts into ministry. In Mark 16, 15 through 16, Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creations. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Now, we could go from church to church, street corner to corner to preach the good news as Jesus has asked, and reach who we reach 
in the time it takes to go to each location. But if we employ media arts to pass this information, we can reach so many more people in a shorter period of time, and we can cover more items in a shorter period of time. Here's an example. It's Sunday morning, and time for the morning announcements. Let's say that there are five subjects to cover this morning. Each item would take about three to five minutes to cover live. But by creating a morning announcement audio video presentation, you can cover all five subjects in a matter of five minutes rather than 15 to 20 minutes. And the information covered would be easily remembered due to exciting the audio visual senses in the body. Add to that the means of sharing that information via internet, radio, or television, and how many more people you can reach in a shorter period of time, and how effective the message can be. When you present the word using media arts, the message is so much easier to understand and recall. And it's so exciting because your audio and visual senses are charged, making it more fun to learn. Here's an example. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new Notice when I stopped it, you really wanted me to let it continue? That's the power of media arts. It leaves you wanting more. And if the word is what you're studying, it leaves you with the desire to seek more of the word. That's why media arts and ministry is such a powerful tool. Now, many would think that it may cost too much money to get this media arts package in your church. Well, it could be that you already have all the materials you need to do so. Now, let's discuss that. And thank you for listening and watching this video.